I don't want to. I don't want to burn through my money, so we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves. I didn't buy any cows. Our cows are more than one month old. Now. We could be getting more than 30 cows into the uh, milk production age, which may be a good deal for us. I'm kind of liking that plan um, because once we have well. The realisation is, is we were producing about 75,000 litres of milk with on just 30 cows. So, uh, yeah, 75,000 litres per month on 30 cows. So with that, with that level of output, we're going to be bumping up to about 35, 40. Possibly. Thirty-five, 40, thirty-five or forty-five cows producing soon, and that will be quite um, quite a significant jump up from thirty. sure I'm not sure I'm gonna buy one year old cows anymore and that's as I was saying and I think I got distracted that's something to do with maize plus maize plus does not allow cows younger than 18 months to produce milk and I think there's a slow ramp up they start producing milk at 18 months but it's not until 24 months that they're fully productive or something along those lines so that's fine um, so yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to we're gonna be low income for the next couple of months just the butter and the um, tomatoes we're gonna have honey I mean, we're gonna have a supply of honey soon that I may just run down to I haven't even looked at that uh, boop, honey, honey, that's actually not bad, price fluctuations, March, March is the time to sell honey, we might want to think about selling that like now, oh, okay, I think I'm sold on that plan. We'll jump in the truck, we'll load up the honey, and we'll go and sell it. I, as I say, I do want some more honey, um, some beehives around our fields. Um, obviously, my first priority was putting the beehives on the fields that have canola in right this minute, because boosting canola production. Um, if we were planting potatoes, same deal there. But we're not so I'm okay with honey four honey uh, production points where they are right now um, but for example the field directly in front of us um, what's in that that I believe has uh, barley so we'll probably be planting canola back in that field next or end of this year, at which point I'll stick another two 
beehives in there. And we'll do it that way. Every time we plant canola, we'll plant some beehives and uh, slowly expand our uh, honey production across the farm. And even then, I'm still not sure I'm getting the best bee coverage. Um, but two per field is adequate, and we get the bee. Yeah, we get the honey, which is monthly. Yeah, theoretically monthly income. It's not going to be monthly income because obviously we're not selling it monthly. The tomatoes monthly. Yeah, all of our perishables are monthly. But. Uh, I could have put this on a worker, but uh, good. We still uh, don't know. We might have to go and top this off. Don't know if we have any pallets of lime here on this yard, because obviously we didn't have any in the um, in the storage silo. I have been known to leave a couple of pallets by the workshop. Can't see from here. That said, I, th I think when we were spreading lime last, we exactly exhausted the supply. It's much easier with GPS, I will admit. One of the reasons I find a sprayer easier is because you spray the width of the boom. With the spreader, you're flinging it so much wider, it's hard to tell. Although we're doing automatic spread, so even if I was overlapping, it, yeah, it wouldn't be a terrible result. I think we might skip a row. Do the awkward bit first. Oh, two thousand. I don't know. It's good enough. Awesome. Kind of awkward. It's the display quality of the uh, the lime is not 100% coverage, but I think the practical application is 100%. So I'm good with that. How are we doing? It is 10 minutes past 11. real time. How did that work out? Yeah, kind of. The texture's missing a bit, but I'm okay with that. We're good. I think the issue now is this lime texture is going to remain here until the next time we spray fertilizer on the field. Okay, shut that down, fold that up. We are done with field prep. And we can turn off the GPS.
this as well. How's it? Diesel is fine. Trucks are fine. The armor track would have been a good alternative to the jet, the Massey Ferguson. It's not a track I've used, but yeah, low hundred horsepower. Um, the armor track doesn't have a three point, from what I remember, but neither does our Massey Ferguson. So who's complaining? Okay, we are at 67,000 money. And that's because it's a thing. Okay, let's open that up. See if we can get this to unload back into... Oh, it didn't. I think that's the problem. The empty on the right. So, which is not the direction that the lid opens, or the cover opens. But if I pull up alongside here, it should round about there. You gotta be kidding me. And oh, that could be a problem. I mean, it's probably not a big deal. We only use this for spreading lime. So I'll just put the lime back in here and uh, hope it doesn't dissolve the bottom of the trailer out. How about that? Oh, yeah, that's filling. There is probably a detection point where I can get that to load into the... Uh, into the silo, but I can't be bothered to figure it out right now. So we will put this back where we got it from. And put the John Deere away. Um, John Deere back in its okay pull forward a little bit more then we'll put the John Deere back in the uh, bottom shed so yeah that was the one thing I was saying was I did find an interesting new shed pack Construction, sheds, not the old brick, this one. Now the problem with this one is you can have the shed that way, or you can have it that way. What you can't do is rotate it. Um, so if I pick so this shed, I can have it that way, I can rotate it any angle I want. Um, but the GDR, was it the GDR? The GDR building packs only rotate 90 degrees, kind of like these things. You can have it that way, you can have it that way. You can't have it on an angle. So 
that's a little bit unfortunate. Anyway, we did the line. Let's jump in our little truck. And uh, I think we'll uh, load up with the honey because it's a good month to sell honey. I'm not too fussed about not selling the end of month honey. At this point, we'll, you know, we'll sell what we have here um, and then pretty much wait till next year, assuming we don't exceed the, uh, the honey pallet storage. Is it going to spawn more? That's the problem with honey. I'm not sure if it saves pallets or whether it just stops producing once. Oh, no, it does produce more. Fine, I'll grab that one. We will close the doors. And I think it's probably export again. Um, cereal fact. Oh, cereal factory is not bad. No, supermarkets the best, but Maypole export will give us the environmental bonus, so we'll go there. Cereal factory will probably give us a bonus, and we don't. Uh, we don't own that. That's still. We'll drive halfway across the map because we did not. Now the other option I do have is I could just transport a few things each day of a month. So I could do tomatoes tomorrow, butter the day after, and not have to worry about them later in the month. Because the rule is you have to ship them once a month. It doesn't have to be on the last day. Um, I could ship them on the first day of one month and the last day of the next month. So the second month would effectively have about five, or oh, yeah. 1.6 days of or 1.6 months of production to sell in one go so lots of income on that month but it all works out even I guess at the end of the day how much are we carrying 3,400 so this should be about 3,500 it'll put us back over 70,000 I'm okay with that Open the doors, check the rear view mirrors, yes, nice, 4200, 4300, I'm good with that. Now of course since we haven't had a regular production run of, you know, I've slowly been adding uh, beehives over the course of the last two months. We don't have a clear indication of how much honey we're producing per month. We just have a goodly amount of it right now. Oops, 120 kilometers an hour, probably gonna roll it if I'm not careful. Vehicle's not too bad at 100. But you go much over that, and especially on this map with all the bounciness of the roads and what have you, you can go airborne. But we're good here. OK, 
Okay. need to check April when do we plant soybeans uh, this isn't the way I usually come in but uh, okay off and jump out. Let's see what we're at. 11.20. So cows are um, 14 months old. These cows are 17. So they should start producing more milk next month. Uh, no, the other 10s. Um, they're 15 months old, so three more months. Should I buy... Oh. It will be a plan. Um, it's not going to make our breeding cycle very even. But I think... It's just a plan... That's, that's 50,000 though. Uh, to buy 30. The thing is, is our income from milk from 30 cows is about... 20,000 per, it's about 40, 50,000 per month. We would get 50,000 back by the end of next month. Uh, we got 71,000. Oh, how much food do we have? Food is, uh, we need more mineral feed, but. Uh, let's do it. Now those 30 new cows are 18 months, a zero health. They're not going to produce any till we rest at the end of the day, but March 2 they should start producing milk and we'll take a look at that. Um, Average health for the cows is 87, of course. Um, we do need to put some mineral feed in. I don't have any. I'm not going to worry about it right this minute. Let us go back to there. I'm going to check the store sales just before we sleep. Because that's always a good idea. That truck. Oh, that truck. Never mind. We will sleep till tomorrow. We'll check the store sales. And I'll check them. Well, we should have about eight hours of milk production in the morning because of the aged cows that we just purchased. So let us check the store sales. There's a Massey Ferguson 3700 Alpine. I don't need one of those. 95 horsepower. Fine. Um, let's check the cows. The cows are still not producing milk, but these 18 month old cows are now 100% healthy. Um, these guys are 14 months. These guys are 17 months. So potentially we might start producing milk tomorrow check the store sales we don't have anything I don't need to do anything until the last day of March so contracts I don't think we're going to see contracts yet oh we do there are fertilizing contracts they don't pay much 
but you can polish off a ton of those in one. Oh, hopefully. Did I see one for 8,000? Yes, I did. Um, indeed. So, I could do some fertilizing contracts today, or I could do them tomorrow after I've done the sales. So, what was the other thing I wanted to check on? Okay, I'm going to skip the rest of the day. We'll check store sales again in the morning. I think we'll call it a day for the stream. I will set up for, I'll do the perishable sales and then we'll pick up with some uh, fertilization contracts next week. Uh oh, Santa's in the area. And there is one of those. There is another one of those. There's a mega roller. What's that one? That's the 350 horsepower. Uh, 24 meter width. That's the big one, isn't it? I don't think these. Yeah, these don't have. anything decent on them, working with. They don't have the spot and spray, so I wouldn't buy one anyway. We don't need one, but that's as it is. So we got two of those on sale and a big roller. I think that is the big roller. 140,000, yeah. 350 horsepower to haul it. We could only do John Deere stuff with that. That we can do mid-sized Tra traffic. This we can do with the the Massey Ferguson, which is why I'm sort of sticking with that. Um, so nothing in the store sales. I need to get the perishable sold, and um, the last thing I was going to check was planting soybeans next month. So. Uh, sell manure as well so this shouldn't be ready to harvest it's not so we will be back next week probably with some grass to cut and probably with no what was I going to do probably with some uh, contracts to run um, which will give us a little bit of income and then we'll proceed into April where the grass will probably grow and give some grass to cut and we'll be able to plant our soybeans. So lots of work next week on the farm. But I think for now, mind the car. Um, I think we're good for now. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Is, is appreciated but for now I think we're done have a good week and um, I'm out of here